Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. In a message to the world marking the World Habitat Day, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa has called on the international community to join the hands to achieve the goals of Sustainable Development 2030, SDG 2030, which are adopted by the United Nations. His Royal Highness said that this can be achieved through an all-inclusive vision that contributes to accelerating the pace of development programs in all countries, especially those in greatest need into a reality that would be reflected in a more developed and stable life of the people and provides the foundations for progress in a world of challenges. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that the focus on the issues of de development in all its forms is imperative and must be given the highest priority in the international collective action system as the best way to build a stable world and achieve the common benefits of all. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of learning lessons from the enormous losses and sufferings created by conflicts and disputes experienced by the world and of moving more resolutely towards cooperation in the fields of sustainable development so that good and peace prevail and benefit of all the people of the world. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister pointed out that the Kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has succeeded in consolidating its relations with various countries of the world and building bonds of friendship and cooperation that have fostered joint action in various aspects of sustainable development. Noting that cooperation and partnership for a better future for the whole mankind is Bahrain's message to the world. The Prime Minister affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain's advanced strides in achieving SDGs 2030 as well as its achievements of the Millennium Development Goals are a success story that reflects the determination of the people of Bahrain to reach the peak of achievement, whatever the challenges are. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister went on to express his appreciation of the efforts exerted by the United Nations Human Settlement Program, the UN Habitat, which has contributed to enhancing international attention to development issues and consolidating the foundations of partnership to meet the challenges of development and the advancements of societies for the better. The Prime Minister pointed out that the objectives of environmental issues occupy a special place within the 17 objectives of the Sustainable Development 2030 in order to reflect the growing importance they represent in maintaining quality and sustainability of life, stressing that environmental issues are urgent and require international cooperation and collective measures to ensure precautionary measures to protect humanity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister pointed out that there is a great correlation between sustainable development and environmental preservation and that the Kingdom of Bahrain in its belief approved a set of laws, legislations and strategies that provide the necessary mechanisms for preserving the environment, protecting the climate, reducing pollution, maintaining environmental and biological diversity, as well as expanding renewable energy resources and others in accordance with a sustainable vision. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that Bahrain in the context of its belief in the importance of international cooperation in the field of environmental protection has ratified many international conventions in this field in light of its deep awareness of the importance of the environmental dimensions being essential to enhance civilizational and urban development. The Prime Minister explained that the Kingdom of Bahrain is working to consolidate the concept of waste management and to explore the modern methods of recycling waste in an environmentally friendly manner using the latest technologies in this field and in safe ways and to benefit from them as an add value that contributes to supporting the national economy. Concluding his message, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the humanitarian mission of the United Nations Human Settlement Program, the UN Habitat, in supporting the efforts of states and societies in the field of urban development. The Prime Minister underlined the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to strengthen cooperation with the UN and its specialized agencies in a manner that supports the efforts of the international community in achieving the goals of sustainable development and contributes to the provision of global peace and security. On the sideline of the 73rd session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Netherlands, Steph Block. The meeting held at the UN headquarters in New York resulted in the signing of a memorandum of understanding for bilateral cooperation between the ministries of foreign affairs of both countries. The MOU aims at promoting and developing the friendly relations and common interests of the two countries. The Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed his confidence that the MOU will result in developing ties and exchanging views at various levels regarding bilateral relations and international issues of mutual interest to achieve stronger cooperation that benefits the two countries. 
Also, the Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Burkina Faso, Al Fabari. The ministers discussed a number of issues regarding bilateral relations and means of enhancing them in light of the desire of the two countries to develop joint cooperation for the benefit of both countries and people. They also exchanged views regarding a number of issues of mutual interest. The Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed his hope for further development of the relations in all fields. For his part, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Burkina Faso noted his country's keenness on its relations with the Kingdom of Bahrain and wished the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. The Kingdom of Bahrain has announced the establishment of diplomatic relations with the Republic of Palau, where a joint statement was signed to establish diplomatic relations between the two countries at the United Nations headquarters in New York. This came as a result of the two countries' wish to develop peaceful and cooperative relations in the political, economic, social, humanitarian, cultural and scientific fields in accordance with the principles of the Charter of the United Nations and the provision of the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations of 1961. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, expressed the Kingdom's keenness to enhance its cooperation with the Republic of Palau in the political, economic and other fields and to take advantage of the available opportunities to serve the common interests of both countries. The Kingdom of Bahrain also announced the establishment of diplomatic relations with Jamaica where a joint statement was signed to establish diplomatic relations between the two countries at the United Nations headquarters in New York. This came as part of the efforts of the two countries to strengthen their bilateral relations. The Minister of Foreign Affairs noted that this step will contribute to the development of joint cooperation between the two countries at various fields and that it will also result in enhancing coordination regarding issues of mutual interest. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs of Uganda, Henry Oriam Okilo, where they reviewed the bilateral relations and progress witnessed by both countries, as well as bilateral cooperation in various fields. A number of regional and international issues of common concern were also discussed during the meeting. Also, the Foreign Minister met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Eritrea, Uthman Ismail, and discussed with him ways of enhancing mutual relations between the two countries in order to achieve the interest and benefits of both countries and people. During the meeting, the Foreign Minister congratulated the Eritrean Foreign Minister on the signing of the Jeddah Peace Agreement between his country and Ethiopia, which will preserve security and stability and support prosperous efforts in both countries and the region as a whole. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Romania, Teodor Mili Chano, and praised the friendly relations between the two countries and their keenness to expand bilateral cooperation in various fields. The Minister pointed out the importance of communication between the two countries and the constant joint coordination on various issues in order to serve the common interests of the two friendly countries and people. For his part, the Romanian Foreign Minister stressed his keenness to develop relations with the Kingdom of Bahrain in all political, economic and other fields, highlighting the progress and prosperity of the Kingdom of Bahrain. <coughs> and the Foreign Minister met with the Slovak Minister of Foreign and European Affairs, Miroslav Lacek. The two sides expressed their aspirations to strengthen bilateral relations and promote all aspects of mutual cooperation, which will serve the interests of both friendly countries and people. And it will also lead to the increased coordination between the two countries in international forums related to issues of common concern. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also praised the efforts of Mr. Lacek during his presidency of the UN General Assembly at its 72nd session and his keenness to activate the role of the UN in the consolidation of international peace and security. The Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Azayani, praised the active participation of This is Bahrain Society in cooperation with the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence in the United Nations General Assembly activities. He said the participation underscored Bahrain's pioneering status in promoting tolerance and coexistence thanks to His Majesty the King's approach. On the sideline of the Azayani's visit to the Bahrain's exhibition on tolerance currently held at the UN headquarters in New York, the GCC Secretary General said 
the innovative initiatives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to foster peace and coexistence confirm Bahrain's glorious history as a melting pot of different ethnic groups and religions. He added that they all are also an assertion to the world of the kingdom's effective experience in promoting tolerance, peace and equality among all. Under the patronage of the Secretary General of the Royal Charity Foundation, Dr. Mustafa Sayed, and the strategic support by Tim Keen, the Labour Fund, the first Arab Toastmasters Forum was held, bringing together Arab Toastmaster clubs from across the Gulf region under one roof. And more details on this report with our colleague Yasmin Ibrahim. The Arab Toastmasters Clubs in Bahrain kicked off the first Arab Toastmasters Forum under the title Toastmasters and Media Challenges. The theme comes from the rising rapid growth of media and the changes that are being driven by technology, where media channels are becoming more accessible and the media consumer is more empowered than ever before. The message I want to, to give to the people is to be ethical, accurate, and use media to the benefit of the community. Media is from our medium a tool or a person that helps you to make mass communication. Media is a from a word of mediate between two people. And if you are a mediator, you have to be a fair, decent, ethical person. That's the message I want to give them. And I want to thank them to welcome our visitors from across the sea to their own. The Toastmaster International is an international organization with 352,000 members all around the world in 143 countries. But here in Bahrain and Kuwait, which heads District 20, forms a part of it, our future that we see in our strategies as well is to focus on Arabic clubs because we believe that is where the future is heading. We are focusing on letting the Arabic clubs come up as far as the language is concerned. There are lots of English clubs happening where there's improvement. We see a lot of more potential happening in the Arabic clubs as well. That's why as a district director and as a district, we support them, we encourage them, and inshallah we'll see a lot of them coming further as well. The works of initiating and actualizing the idea of the forum started at the beginning of the third quarter of this year and now it opened its doors to all members of the Toastmasters as well as interested parties from across the Gulf. The forum's agenda includes an educational program and a debate in line with the forum's objectives and vision. It's very important for everyone. There is no uh, limited age uh, to join the Toastmasters. You can join the Toastmasters when you have like 16 years old or even when you're small. It helps to build up a new generation who are able to have a good skills in speech and good leadership and confidence. So I really encourage all Bahraini people in different age to join those clubs. The forum aims to promote the work of the Toastmasters clubs in Bahrain, as well as empower and bring together the Bahraini youth in the Arab clubs under one roof to share experiences and spread the Toastmasters concept and its importance in building the individual and society. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.